Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hello everyone and good evening. It's Saturday, December 18th, and you're watching the live webcast for the Turksat 5B mission for our customer Airbus. My name is Ian McCullough, and I'm a sales manager here at SpaceX, joining you from our headquarters here in Hawthorne, California. Just 15 hours ago, we successfully launched 52 satellites from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base, and we're back again joining you all for the launch of Turksat 5B. Turksat 5B is a communications satellite that was designed and manufactured by our customer Airbus. The satellite will provide, provide broadband internet services to Turkey and various other parts of the world. We're having a busy few days as we are also gearing up to support the CRS-24 cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station on Tuesday, December 21st at 5.06 a.m. Eastern Time. Before we, move, we explore more into today's payload, let's take a closer look at the Falcon 9 vehicle supporting to today's mission. On your screen is a live view of Falcon 9 awaiting its 10.58 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We've gone to startup. Flight computers on both stages are now running the Falcon 9 countdown. Next event, launch directors go. LD, go for launch. You heard it, launch director is given the go. Everything continues to look good. T minus 36 seconds and counting. All systems are go for the launch of Falcon 9 with Turksat 5B. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Pitching down range. Take one chamber pressure's nominal. T plus 40 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the Turksat 5B satellite to geosynchronous transfer orbit. We've throttled down in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Good views from the SpaceX ground cameras following the first stage. Falcon is supersonic. Gone supersonic. The Merlin engines are back up to full power. Max Q. And we're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Everything continues to look good. Trajectory is nominal. Avionics report systems are nominal. One hundred seconds into flight, coming up in just under a minute, we're going to have main engine cutoff, where we shut off the nine Merlin 1D engines. We'll separate the stages, and then the second stage engine will ignite at about the two minute and forty four second mark. And back is chilling in. 
The MVAC-D engine chill end call out. We've begun putting a little bit of liquid oxygen through the turbo pump to get it cold in preparation for second stage ignition. That's coming up in just about 34 seconds from now. First stage is coming up on 4G's acceleration and we're gonna begin throttling down to hold 4G's. Getting ready for main engine cutoff. First stage engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. M MVAC ignition. We've got successful stage separation. The second stage now under power of the single Merlin vacuum engine. We'll be coming up on fairing deploy in a little under 30 seconds. Views of the titanium grid fins de beginning to deploy on the left as we see the lights of Florida in the background as we head east, due east from the Cape into our transfer orbit parking orbit. We're getting ready for the camera on second stage to switch forward to look at the spacecraft and the payload fairing for fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you see the two fairing halves have separated, falling away from the vehicle. We're now exposing the Turksat 5B satellite to outer space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to retrieve these two fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, Bob. Now, as mentioned previously, these two fairing halves supported the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 5 mission in June of this year. But right now, we're at T plus four minutes and counting Everything continues to go well for the Falcon 9 mission, carrying Turksat 5B into the parking orbit. As John mentioned, it's T plus four minutes, and now 20 seconds into today's mission. We're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and 27 seconds, you should see on your screen the first stage is entry burn, which a burn that lasts 24 seconds. For the entry burn, we relight the center engine E9, and then partway through, we relight E1 and E5 engines. So we have a total of three M1D engines helping to slow down the vehicle as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, you'll see this exhaust start as a circular plume at the bottom from the single engine, then shape into a longer, narrower plume when the two other two engines ignite. Reusability is a key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more Trajectory investments model. in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9, that first stage that is supporting today's mission, will perform this entry burn for the third time, having previously supported both the CRS-22 resupply flight to the ISS and the Crew-3 launch just last month.